my dear friends in this module i am going to elaborate the term discussion forum or discussion board while designing an online course you should know what is discussion forum or why it is so important for both the learners and teachers for an effective online course at the end of this module you would be able to understand the quadrant 3 which deals with the discussion forum or discussion board for an online course. Since you have enrolled in the course on development of online course for Siam, by this time you have already learned what is MOOC or online course. Simply MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Course. You have already come to know the M stands for the massive that is large number of students can enroll there is no restriction in admission in terms of numbers open means open to all no mandatory qualification is required to enroll for this type of online course anyone can join and online means it is totally online that is such type of course is supported by the internet and the last word is a course. Since it is a course, there should be a structured course content and it must have a syllabi. So MOOC is an online course aimed at unlimited participation and open access through internet. The basic philosophy of MOOCs is three A's, anytime, anyone, anywhere. In this context, you should know the open education resources and MOOCs. In the foregoing section, the distinction between OER and MOOC may be relevant for the present module. You have already come to know the OER. The previous modules already discussed the concept of OER and how it is used. Simply, we can define that a content which is available online free of cost with an appropriate CC license or open license is known as open education resources. Here I have said the open license. Open license does not mean that everything is open. It gives us the right to use and also imposes some restrictions. OER may be an audio material, may be a video material or a text. Here we do not give any handholding support for the learners. On the other hand, MOOC is a structured course having number of educational resources and web link. And it is a combination of multimedia, audio video lectures, e-text, etc. The important difference is that in case of MOOC, we provide the handholding support. So, there is a provision to help the student in case of MOOCs. In online course, the handholding support is very important. Now, the question is how the support is provided. This is an online course which will guide you to develop an online course for Siam. We have already discussed in the previous modules the four quadrant approach. The Siam guideline says there are four quadrants. Quadrant 1 is e tutorial, quadrant 2 is e content, quadrant 3 is discussion forum, and quadrant 4 is assessment. In this particular module, we are discussing the quadrant 3 that is discussion forum. We are talking about the handholding support and this support is provided through this discussion forum in online course. But before going into details of the discussion forum, we may discuss about the methods of teaching. Being the teacher or being the participants, of this course, we know there are three methods of teaching. Number one is the offline method and number two is the 
online method. Offline method, all of us know that is the face-to-face -face traditional teaching learning process. The face-to-face -face teaching, we know there is an opportunity to interact with the teachers on a regular basis. In online method, it may not be possible because online teaching and learning may be of synchronous, that is live, or asynchronous, that is non-live. If you see the important components of teaching learning, we can get there must be reading provision, there must be interaction or communication provision and discussion. Now, in case of first two cases, like the face-to-face -face method and the synchronous method, we can interact with each other. The teacher can interact, the student can interact, because both the teacher and students remain present in real time. But in case of asynchronous mode, mode of teaching, that is in case of non-live mode of teaching, the real time presence of teacher and student is not possible. Here the discussion forum plays the key role. The discussion forum gives the space for learners and teachers who are remotely located in different places. So, quadrant 3 is the discussion forum. Whenever you will design an online course, you must remember the quadrant 3, which is based on discussion forum. So, discussion forum or discussion board is one of the important components of, an, of any online course. This is a tool. Remember, this is a tool which is used to engage the learners or students where live interaction or real-time interaction is absent but provides the space for online discussion. Now, discussion forum is necessary. In discussion forum, anyone can post. Any participant, whether he is a teacher or student, can post his message in the discussion forum. But how does it work? There are some rules or norms we follow in case of discussion forum. But you have to know the mechanism, the operational aspects of discussion forum. We can point out here one by one. Any posting in the forum can be edited within 30 minutes of a particular post. And this particular post will be available in the archive after 30 minutes of post of the particular post. Students and teacher can post comments and responses and read others' contribution. Students are not required to be online at the same time to participate in the discussion forum. This is the most advantageous of discussion forum. Because in asynchronous mode of teaching, there is no need to be present at the same time, at the real time, for both the students and teachers. They can access the discussion forum as for their convenience. Student cannot feel isolated if he actively participate in online forum. We know in online course, any person can join from anywhere. So, if he or she can feel isolated, but if the student participate in a discussion forum actively, this possibility will be minimized. The another objective of discussion forum is that it facilitates the collaborative learning because all the peers, all the students, including the teacher, can interact through this discussion forum. So friends, in this module, you have learned what is discussion forum, how it works, and necessity of the discussion forum for online course. Hope you have enjoyed the lectures. Thank you.